you can you know pinch cut with those two turrets on the main spindle while the third turret is working on the sub spindle or you can work with all three turrets on one spindle on the main or in the sub so you are very flexible with this system you and i are about to get educated on spinners tts machine from robin so robin what is this machine all about hi Lindsay. so uh, this machine is all about complex parts high volume so um, if you have you know those complex um, high precision parts and higher volume this is the machine to go okay what stands out for me straight away yeah. is the accessibility into this machine yeah. you've got three turrets yeah. two spindles yes. but they're all so close oh yeah and uh, this is this was our goal you know to make it more accessible for the for the operator uh, That's why we have uh, a 90 degree vertical machine bed design. Uh, so for perfect chip fall, of course, which is important for, for high volume production, but, but also for better accessibility for the operator. You can see you know, how close the turrets are here to, to the operator, um, how close the spindles are to the operator. And, and this makes it so much easier for the operator to you know, set up the machine for the next job. Honestly, my, uh, when I stand here from left to right, I yeah. can literally almost touch both yeah. ends yeah. of the machine. Yeah. It's brilliant. And, and the accessibility in the glass. So yeah. um, let's talk about it. You said high volume. You're yes. chasing cycle times then, I yes, assume. Yes, of course. Yeah, And that, that's what you do with, uh, with multiple turrets. You know, not only one turret working on one or two spindles at the same time, but we can do that here with up to three turrets in the system working, you know, on both spindles simultaneously. So... For, for example, what you can do is you can you know, pinch cut with those two turrets on the main spindle while the third turret is working on the sub spindle or you can work with all three turrets on one spindle on the main or in the sub so you are very flexible with the system. So where's the gap in the marketplace for this then? You know, if I say I've got a machine shop and I've got two, two, uh, a twin turret for example, oh, yeah. why are you going for the so, third? Cut your cycle times and, and uh, cut your prices you know, on, on, on the parts because um, Good if you have a, a if you have a dual turret machine. Good for you. But with the third turret, you can save actually some cycle time because, you know, as I said, two turrets working on one spindle. What is the sub spindle doing? You need a third turret for the sub spindle to cut your cycle times. And there's something quite unusual I've noticed as well. Here you've got these big kind of circles. Yeah. What what are they doing? Yeah, never saw them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a this is a spinner special. It's a it's a vibration dampers. Uh, right. So to, to erase or minimize the micro vibrations which are coming from the process, cutting process. So a lot of a lot of, a lot is going on in this machine with the three turrets, right? So you can, you know, on the main spindle you could rough cut, and on the sub spindle you might want to do a finishing cut. So this is producing a lot of micro vibrations, right? Wow. And this would give you some influence on the on the surface finish on the sub spindle. So to, to, to erase that, we have those vibration dampers on each of the turrets to erase the, the micro vibrations and give you a better surface finish on the part. I've never seen this before. Yeah. So why isn't everybody doing this? Or is this like totally unique? Maybe you're, we are a little bit smarter than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. Brilliant. Um, OK, you've got, um, is that a new control? Um, yes, that's a brand new Siemens control with the Spinner's BIOS multi-touch uh, panel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you see you have um, uh, the standard Siemens control up here with three channels, one channel for each turret. And you got a custom uh, uh, interface here where you can have a camera, a work area camera there. Why do you need there. a camera? Um, to to you know monitor the process you know, you can you can do that in front of the machine of course but why not do it from your office or your, from your from your living room and of course viewing it on there you can view it externally I mean this is a great bit of kit especially for the overnight run and seeing it in action is really impressive.